I'm not sure what the best way to demonstrate this is, but if you see these three or these two rails right here, those were replacements for the original, which I don't th I don't know if you could see this or not, but this piece that was in here pinged away while I was trying to assemble this. So I had to fabricate new ones, a new railing that looked like or somewhat like the old railing. The vertical post that would have been there, well, that, that was beyond me. So uh, the surface tension of the glue will hold these pieces together. Now that's something. And they don't. Oops, well that one's up gone forever. Well, we've got a few quirks to work out, kinks, but uh, the number of buildings is growing. We even have a little truck now. I can't see that very well. I'll set it over here. There, maybe you can see that. Have a minuscule truck. And an even smaller truck. Model A. Model A pickup. Long ways to go though, but it's been fun. Down here, what I plan to do, I'll raise you up a little bit more. Over here, what I plan to do is to bulk out this with a um, combination of wadded up paper soaked in glue plaster cloth and my newfound DAP polyfilla uh, substitute until I have something resembling a mesa and a rocks so that's a new challenge for me I noticed that Daniel Lorry was using foam on his miniature layout he was working on and I thought oh maybe I should try using some of that so 
I don't know how it'll come out, but this is my first attempt. There's some more structure down at the other end that I'll show you where I'm attempting to use some foam. Once you get it glued down, it's pretty rigid. Take you down the other end. Is there a freight train? What you see there is an old shirt. Yes, it's just a piece of cloth draped on there. That will not be the final. But this is foam, a foam structure, and I will fill it in with newspaper and stuff so that I can build a mountainside around there. And then eventually there will be a, a back scene of some kind to go on here. But as a back scene for the train coming around, I thought, well, you know, I'll just throw something over there. There's a shirt. I've been experimenting with ballast. Over here I tried a mixture of red stones and white stones. I'm not really too fond of it. Interestingly enough, out in the west, Sometimes they would build a wooden trestle where there was a gap, a low area, and then they would start piling rock. They would just start dumping rock from the railroad until they filled it up. And then they just let the wooden pilings and the trestle part of it rot away and eventually it was just rock. I just think that's interesting. Well that's about all I've got for you today so I guess I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.